Ever since the 1.0 full trailer release, we knew that Black Widows were coming, and of course we had the leak when we saw the Black Widow spiderlings in a previous update, but nothing prepared me for how difficult they really would be to face in Grounded 1.0. Hey Ratbags, it's Jade, welcome. Yes, on my days, a Black Widow was absolutely one of the toughest fights I've had in my time in Grounded for sure. Now to be fair, it doesn't help that I found this one in the Undershed at the end of a big gauntlet of areas where frankly, you just don't have time to recoup or get some different gear on because you can't put anything down. There's nowhere to put a base down. So that's warning number one when you encounter this one. Remember though, this isn't a boss. There may be others, I think there are around the upper yard, but I'm gonna go and explore that in further. So there will be a proper guide on how to defeat them and the location of every single one in the future. This is really just to show you how difficult they are and the fight and how many times I died. The Black Widow Lins themselves are incredibly tough. You can see they give poison damage pretty much with almost every bite. These guys are weak to spicy, resistant to stabbing and fresh. Considering I was using a tier three weapon, maybe not fully upgraded at all, it still took around four to five hits to kill just one of them. I was kind of disappointed we didn't get maybe like a poison drop from them. Instead, we just got regular web fiber. Then on to the big mother herself. You really have got to be careful also of disturbing any of them egg sacs as you'll get inundated with all the spiderlings as well. But 25 health segments, I think maybe not too many weaknesses other than maybe the legs, although it doesn't say anything like that in the card. In fact, it says absolutely zero weaknesses. The resistances are chopping, busting, stabbing, fresh, slashing, salty, spicy, and of course the new one, sour. So the only resistance not listed is obviously generic. So anything like the Club of the Mother Demon, the Red Ant Club, the Salt Morning Star, the Spiky Sprig or the Mint Mace, or maybe any of the other new weapons that you might find. But yeah, not actually a weakness to them, just like with everything else, if it's not listed, it just does normal damage. You can see as well, it drops Super Spider Venom, Black Widow Fangs and Spider Chunks. So that should be enough of the materials you need to craft, obviously the Black Widow arm set, which I'll show you at the end. Tier 3 enemy and 4 hearts. It has the regular wolf spider attacks but then has this cycle where it does 5 hits. You can see that brought down my health almost by 50% or more. So that might be enough to kill you if you haven't got the right kind of armor on. I've been trying to go through this entire new area under the deck without too many cheats. I was in custom mode so I was spawning stuff in using obviously crafting benches. But you can't place any crafting benches or anything down once you're in here. So kind of stuck with this brand new mosquito blade, the tiger one, and then this sour axe that I had. But yeah, the poison by it obviously triple stacks as well, you can see it there. And while it lists it as free, it actually replens or restarts if you get bit again, so you could be perpetually poisoned. So yeah, the first encounter didn't go well. This time I actually put Mithridism on just to see if it would actually help or benefit, and I swear it didn't seem to do too much at all. You've got to be absolutely perfect at blocking facing this guy and obviously parrying and making sure that you've got decent armor to support it. Maybe something like the Koi armor set or just at least having plenty of heals. To be fair, I didn't have enough smoothies on me, obviously, so this fight might have been a lot easier. And I was pretty stubborn. I was pretty tired playing this. So I just decided to carry on and see if I could do it as a mark, a challenge. Spoilers, I didn't end up doing it. I had to cheat in the end. I did find some success of whittling him down to like nearly half health a lot of the time, but the reflexes needed to be super quick to turn it around just wasn't good enough for me. Don't try using a bow and arrow. There's nowhere to run and it's just not going to be a good look for you. I did manage to daze him a couple times fighting him and I was starting to get the hang of a little bit of blocking, but it just still wasn't enough. Just absolutely getting pwned. I made a set where I was life stealing. There's a brand new perk that's meant to give you lots of life steal when you defend, and that wasn't doing a trick, even with the mosquito needle also stealing health. And then again, went back to the axe. So, yeah, it's a tough one. You can just run past it. There is a mega milk motor in there, as well as a supreme tough rock, as well, or tough quartzite. But it chased me down the tunnel, so I had to go and have another attempt at trying to fight it. And this time I was actually doing okay. With it not being able to get around you as quickly, I felt like it gave me a bit more of a chance. But unfortunately, once again, I was starting to lose my health and I just didn't have enough heals. 
Also, about halfway through, a bunch more of the spiderlings came just randomly down into the enclave where I was fighting him originally, so that's why I also ran down this corridor. I took care of them and then finally decided to try taking him on. But you can see there is definitely some sort of critical hit damage, and I figured it might be his legs, so I tried to aim as much as possible for the legs, but I don't think it really was a weakness. And it's not listed, so I can only presume there is none. So again, with a shield and something more forgiving like a clay armor set, I think you can pretty much maybe do better than I did. But it just seemed to attack quite rapidly. That five hit attack really does you in and it's just hard to really block it. The larger lunges were definitely a bit easier to predict, but yeah, just absolutely getting wrecked by that poison. Honestly, looking back at the first time I fought it, I can't tell the difference in terms of Mithridism being effective. So at this point I'd been fighting him for like 30 minutes, I tried different armor sets, I'd gone maybe more successful with the ladybug armor set a little bit, hoping to get more healing out of the items that I was using. And yeah, in the end I just wanted to get through the next section and fully explore everything. So I went into custom mode, turned off my health damage and whacked on all the other mutations to see what they would do, some of the new ones. And of course there will be a video showcasing all the brand new mutations, I'll even link it in the comment section down below. So yeah, bring a club of some kind that's going to be able to do generic damage. Definitely the axe, I'm not too sure if it has got generic or if it is chopping, as it simply just lifts sour. But I was having more success and doing more damage with it than I was using the tier 2 mosquito. Obviously a lot of this stuff wasn't upgraded, in fact my ladybug armor was the only thing that was upgraded up to nearly max, whereas all the other armor sets were only like level 4, maybe not even that high. So the point there is, with more preparation and if you've got all maxed out gear, you'll definitely have an easier time than me, especially if you are good at parrying and blocking. But I consider myself an average, even below average kind of player, and I would say this is an extremely tough fight to chuck in towards the middle of this massive, massive area that you're exploring. You can run past it, as I said, but I do kind of wish there was a point that I could just get off, go upstairs, up to the top of the yard or whatever, put a sleeping bag down or just switch out, get rid of some of the materials I've maybe got and gathered all this way through and then redid myself, maybe had a chance to repair. Thank God we've got glue of course which you can now do so you won't have to carry as many resources or materials with you if you are going to repair your high level armour and weapons. The brand new mutations didn't seem to be doing too much to him either to be honest, I had the lightning one there and then obviously bring in the mant, I feel like they could be buffed but again I'm going to save that for another video. And yeah, it was just a slow, slow, painful just taking him on because I did want to see what would happen when I picked some stuff up from him. Would I get a guaranteed drop of the Super Venom? So I do want your best tips. Obviously, you can tell me how rubbish I was at this. You wait to see how you get on with him. I'm sure it won't be that easy. But yeah, you've probably got a better idea what to play or take him on with in terms of combat. It's never been my strongest point in Grounded. So definitely give me some strategies you think would work with new mutations, maybe messing around with them, and obviously some of the armor sets. I'm not going to be put off, I will do a proper full breakdown guide in the best way to defeat it. We'll take a look at as many weapons as I can and arm sets or kind of builds. Because I do want to help you guys even if I suck initially at it. But there we go, we've got the Super Spider Venom. Like I said, don't forget to go and get the Mega Milk Molar that's hiding in amongst the egg sacs. And actually these web sacs, these are tier 3 ones, they obviously got spiderlings in, but they seem to have a lot more of the bug parts that you might really like. Mosquito parts, roly poly parts. As long as you're prepared to deal with these little blighters, yeah, it could be the next best thing to go and get a whole bunch of bug parts. Thank the gods that it didn't say Black Widow spiders are annoyed with you, it does just trigger the regular orb weavers going towards maybe a raid in the future. When it comes to the armor set, you're gonna need two Black Widow fangs to make the Black Widow hood, three of the super spider venom and five lint rope. The hood giving you three and a half defense and resistance of 2.5. Another two Black Widow Fangs plus four Rust and five Lint Rope to make the Spalders. Defense of six and a half and a resistance of five. And then another two Black Widow Fangs, four Rust and five Pond Moss to make the Window Leggings. And the Leggings the same as the Hood, three and a half defense, 2.5 resistance. They all obviously come with Poison Damage Boost. They're a light armor set as well. Obviously it's a lighter stamina, so you'd have more stamina to use. Then you've got the three poison damage, one for each piece that you're wearing. 
And the suit bonus you get for wearing all three is Death's Impetus. You gain a moment extra of speed when you're killing creatures. So maybe good for taking on lots of enemies at once. And if you upgrade the suit down the sleep path, then you're going to gain something which gives you even more poison damage, but this time when you parry correctly. So absolutely smashing it with poison damage for this kind of build, especially when you mix it with the dagger itself. The fangs that are obviously used with the Widow Dagger as well, and the Venom is used obviously in the Super Venom arrows too. The Widow Dagger does 2.5 damage, 0 stun, but is very, very fast and obviously does poison damage. Need 3 Black Widow Fangs, 3 Lint Rope and 4 Super Spider Venom for it though. And for the arrows you need Splinter Arrows and 1 Spider Venom. So there we go, that is the Black Widow. I'm sure you guys will do a lot better than I did because you've probably all got your gear ready to go. But for newcomers, I still think this is an incredibly tough fight whenever you come up against one of these. You really have got to make sure you've got some of the best gear or you're just really good at parrying. Look out for the more detailed guide that I'll be working on now to improve my skills. And I'll see you guys for more Grounded 1.0 content soon. Bye-bye.